Hello, hello. Well, we're saving why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a costume some signed lot from our local jewelry auction. I uh, hope everybody is doing wonderful. But I thought I would bring you a quick costume lot. Um, it is um, brooches, bracelets, necklace, um, and some hair breads. Thank you, thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. We appreciate you so much. If you see something you're interested in, just send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice on Fridays. Shipping is $5 in the United States under a pound. Anything over a pound is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So let's just push these over to the side and jump at it because we are going to do these pretty quickly. It, they're just um, some cute little pieces. Um, this one obviously has broken. It's uh, plastic. It's not signed. No, it is signed. It says France. It was made in France. It is hand painted. Unfortunately, it's dirty. It needs to be cleaned. This one broke off. So it is made of plastic. So on these, I'm just gonna say um, three dollars because you can still use it without the um, uh, tooth. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I'll clean these if somebody's interested. So nice. And then we also have these combs. These are metal, and I don't see a signature anyway where, but they are made of metal, and it is an enameled really nice um, comb. It's uh, flowers and leaves, I believe. Uh, the background color is kind of in a burgundy with some gold leaves and green leaves. And on these, I'm going to do, let's say, um, $10. And they are in excellent condition. I'll clean them also, of course. And um, so $10 on those. We have this cute little rhinestone. It does have some dead rhinestones on it. So I'm just going to say a dollar on that one. This one is gorgeous. Um, isn't that nice? Um, no missing rhinestones. It's faux marcasite. It is signed C-O-N. Uh, but that is a, a beauty. And this is... Three and a half, uh, about three and five eighths of an inch by about five eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do uh, $12 on that one. That's a gorgeous um, barrette. Here is a cute little barrette with rhinestones. It's just um, a simple little um, barrette. And on this one, I'm just going to say... Um, three dollars we have a little brooch here um, with um, just a safety clasp it's in green with a white center so I'm just gonna say let's do three dollars on that one this one is really pretty however it is missing a rhinestone but this gold is gorgeous it is not signed um, anywhere. So I'm just going to say, um, $2 on that one. Here is a bobby pin with a, um, vintage plastic, um, green and then a coral colored rose. It is a bobby pin. And I'm just going to say $3 for that one. That one's very pretty. Here we have another enameled uh, brooch uh, in a flower. Um, there is a lot of little skins on the end. Has a faux pearl. There's your back. And I'm going to say on this one, let's just do $3. Now this is interesting. Um, this is a pendant. And this is a type of plastic, but this is put into a mold. You can see um, like the edges of it. It almost reminds me, I mean, it sounds plastic, but it almost reminds me of like 
paper molding um, that was popular back in like a long time ago. But also we did some of this in the late 70s, I remember. This is a beautiful size. Um, it is two and a quarter inch by about one and three fourths of an inch. So I'm just gonna do five dollars on that one. And there's the back again. And there's the edges. So nice. This one, unfortunately, one of the little um, stones, um, they look like little stones, has fallen out right there. And it's a little bird looking over her eggs. It's a brooch. I don't see a signature on it. It is about an inch and a half by about an inch. And on this one, even with the little missing stone, I'm gonna say, let's do $3. Here we have a bracelet. And this is some type of, I, it's um, faceted, stretch, with a tassel that needs a little bit of attention, but it says it's by Ella and Hazel. And um, it is a gemstone. I think it is either a jasper or a um, smoky quartz, but that's where it um, lines up on the gem tester. But um, beautiful gray um, and smoky color. So let's just do $5 on the gemstones. This is interesting. It's an 80s style um, pen. Um, we used to put these on our skirts and um, on our sweaters um, in the 80s. And I believe this is an 80s pen. It has like um, a faux mother of pearl gold tone and it just popped out right there. Um, but pretty cool. Um, I think it's like a um, revival piece. So a three and a quarter inch by one inch. And on this one, let's just do $4. This one is very pretty. This is metal, okay? There's the front of it. Isn't that nice with the um, etched in flower? And this just goes in your hair as an ornament, not necessarily to hold your hair um, because it is pretty tiny. See how small it is? There's not a lot of hair that can get through there. But it's more of a decoration. Sweet piece. So I'm going to say let's do $4 on that one. Here we have just a, um, like, uh, what are these called? A faceted beads. <laughs> um, they are Roar Borealis. And then each um, end has a little bead on it. Um, I know Vogue, the um, designer back in the 30s and 40s, had a lot of these. But this one isn't signed and the um, brooch back is a little laying down. If you'd like me to uh, push that up back up, I can do that for you. And on this one, I'm going to say let's just do $4. Here we have a... Um, pendant and a brooch. Um, it's a um, resin cameo, um, gold tone, um, and this is, the back is also resin. Uh, it's pretty large. It is two and a quarter inch by about two inches, and it's really thick also. It's about three-fourths of an inch. And I'm just going to do $4 on that one. Here, this is an old pen. This is brass, um, a C-clasp, um, mother of pearl front, um, sweet looking, um, just a simple. Could be Victorian, could be foreign. But the way it comes out beyond, I'm going to say that it is a Victorian pen. So that is nice. It is... One and five eighths of an inch by one and a quarter. And on this one, I'm going to say $12. Ooh, 
we have this purple brooch. Um, it's a flower. There's the back. It's a brooch. It is a pendant. And I believe the four of these are to make it into, see there, there you can see them. I believe that's to make it into a button. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, there is no missing purple um, rhinestones missing on this. It is two and a quarter inch. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do $5. This one is a courting couple. It's a um, transfer brooch, a filigree bag. I do not see a signature on this. It's just um, a safety class. Uh, let's see if this is. It is made of brass, so it could be an older piece. Probably um, the way it looks could be um, 60s, 70s. It is two and a quarter inch by one and a half inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $5. This one's cute. We've got like, this is like fuzzy. Um, this is textured. There's the bag. It has a something on it. Let's see if I can read that. It must be a patent number because I can just barely see like 1380, I believe it says. Um, Trying to figure out this clasp. Oh, I think it goes, yeah, isn't that interesting? Uh, it comes in and then you move it around like a circle and it opens and back around the circle and it closes. Well, that's interesting. Um, there's the front. So I'm just gonna say, let's do $5 on the little, I think it's a Hornet, um, but cute little piece, very lightweight. Here's another enamel brooch. This one um, has black leaves. There is a little bit of um, missing black right there. The, it is a riveted brooch. But I love the yellow with the black tips. It is two and three fourths of an inch by one and a half inch. I love that yellow. So I'm just going to say $5 on that one. This one is clear rhinestones, none of them missing, with teardrop, black, and center. There's some scratches on the faceted black. I don't see a name. It is one and seven eighths of an inch, but that one is nice. So let's say $5 on that one. Here is one, no name. Um, silver tone, definitely silver tone. Um, it's just a flower, um, 3D. It is one and a quarter inch. And on this one, I'm just going to say $3. This one is a rhinestone with a safety class on the back. It says Jesus, all in rhinestones, none missing. It is two and a quarter inch by one inch. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $5 for the Jesus um, rhinestone brooch. This one's pretty, it's in red. It is missing a rhinestone right there. It's hard to see, but it is right there. Uh, no signature on the back. Um, it seems to be darker gold in the center than on the edges on the back. It is about one and three-fourths of an inch by one inch. And let's just say $3 on that one. 
We have a pair of earrings here. Let's see if there's any name. They are clip-ons. I don't see a name. They look like they're open rhinestones in the back. Uh, and they're blue. These are Aurora Borealis. The center one isn't. Um, those are very nice. So on the, these, there is a little discoloration on the back of the clip-on. And on these, really sweet. I'm going to say let's just do $3. And then we have another pair of blue earrings. And these are um, wires. And they're just the one bead. And on these, I'm just going to say $3 also. Pretty blue. And they're faceted. We have this really nice star. It's riveted on the back. I don't see a name. And um, safety class on the back. That is a really pretty um, clear rhinestone. Nothing missing. It is one and a half inch by one and a half inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $5. Now, this one is fabulous. Unfortunately, they're scratching. It's, it's a mirrored brooch, okay? So whatever color is in the back... It shows through the front, so it looks like it's cracked. Even though it's not, it's just there's some scratches in the bag. So if you put silver paint on here, um, it would be um, like a, it looks like a um, moon drop. Um, so it's a pretty cool piece. It is lifted um, here. And on this one, um, an inch and a half, by an inch, and I meant a, it looks similar to a pool of light, even though it's not by any means, but that's a cool one. So let's just say $3 on that one. Then we have a pair of earrings here. No name, but they're nice. They look like comets, and they're dangle here at the bottom. There's three, no missing rhinestones. So I'm going to say just $4 on these. Sweet. Sorry. Um, this one is gorgeous. I love blue. Um, or let me rephrase that. Blue was growing on me. For a while, I didn't like it. Um, I spent 20-something years in the post office <laughs> delivering mail and um, didn't care for... Um, my blue uniforms <laughs> so for a while it's like I didn't like blue now it's going on me again but these are really pretty there is a little bit of chain wrapped around it right here and if you are interested I can remove that chain for you um, no missing rhinestones it is a lobster class with an extension and it, it using the extension it is 17 inches um, with a drop, and I'm going to say let's do $8 on that one. Then we have this piece. This is gorgeous, okay? It is tiny, absolutely tiny. But look at that. It has, uh, there's your bag. It's not signed. It's gold tone. It's leaves, okay? It looks like it's a strawberry under there. And... It's like, you can't really see it, um, but these are wired in. Um, it looks like two gray rhinestones and two um, faux pearls. And it's just a sweet little piece. Tiny, but it is quality. It is three fourths of an inch by a half inch. And I'm gonna say, six dollars on that one and the last piece we have is this okay it does have let me find it yeah here we have a roller clasp here it has no name but aren't these pretty they are hand painted um or no they're not let me be sure Yeah, they're glass and it looks like little 
Millie Fiore. Um, very nice. And there is, it's a really long piece. It's got five beads on it. It is... Sixty inches in total. I just think this is such a classic uh, glass piece. It's really, really nice. And let's see if no, that's not cracked. Um, and on this one, I'm gonna say let's do ten dollars. So for a small lot, I think this is a really nice lot. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.